you don't know which one's going to pop out. And then there are buttons. Okay, so only three of them work, but that's fine. The gears. The light switch. Welcome back to my channel. And today, I will be playing with some triggers from a mystery bag that I recently bought. So, let's get on to the first trigger. Okay, so we've got a ball. Well, it's oval thing, and it's like, so it's rubber, like a silicone, and it's got bumps all over it, and it is pink and blue. So, I think I might be able to pop these. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's see which one pops out next. Oh, that one. Okay, then. Okay. Oh, this might be a 3D popper. Which, compared to one in a different video, I can actually hear these ones popping. That's nice. Whereas the others just weren't popping. Oh, just they were too flat. So, this one. Actually, kind of nice. Okay, if I get it close enough. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so it's not quite squeezy. But, I don't actually mind this popping. And you don't know which one's going to pop out instead. So, it's the spirit of this mystery bag. It's actually random anyway, which is nice. And, okay, I could actually see myself using this one. It's nice. And, okay. When I first saw it, I was like, what is that? But now I plan play, playing with it. It's like, this is nice. Yeah, nice. It also has a nice tapping sound. As you can hear. Ooh, that is nice. Solid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can even rub it well, between my hands. So, visually, it's nice for movement. Let's try it against the mind. If I don't say so myself. Oh, okay. Maybe the popping is more enjoyable. Oh, yes. You are. Okay. Um, I need to go to the next one or I will be popping this all night. And this video will go on for way too long. So, on to the next.
Rika. This is really random. We've got a... Oh, snail, I think? Like, plastic works nice. Like, tapping, yeah. Let's see what happens when I tap on the eyes. Ooh, that sounds nice. That's interesting. That sounds different. Wow, you've got that, and then you have... Yeah, that's good different sounding. And the eye stalks... Uh, they're like a blue tube, which is in one of the other videos. But I think... Before I pull it, I will turn down the volume just a little bit. That's better. This is, this is a loud one, so I want to turn it down just a little bit. So, let's pull the... I stalk kind of random. Okay, so not as long as the other one. I put my nails down it. Okay, now look at this. It's like, really? Very loud. Oh, oh yeah. I remember. Oh, I think the eye socks are a little bit... This bell might be a little bit more thick now. Okay, let's see what happens when I move this about. Oh, that's actually more bearable. After I turn down the gain a bit. Still not my favourite one, I think. And to be honest, if it this one hadn't come in this pack, I probably wouldn't have bought it. Because when you look at it, it's a little bit strange. Very strange like what snail is has a green body and one green eye and one purple eye i mean an alien snail perhaps i mean the only way it could be i mean it's not the greatest toy but i'm like There we go. Now this one is is back to the way it should be. This one was unexpected. So I'll have to figure out what I will use this for. I mean, like I said before, I could use it for an alien snail? Alien creature? Apart from that, I don't know what I could use it for, to be honest. But, well, I will figure it out. Anyway, on to the next trigger. Oh, another clicky sound. We have a pink and white. Not entirely sure what the 
this one is. I do know it's clicky like the spinner from a, another video. And the clicks are good. And you can actually hear them, which is nice. Ah, here we are, all in a straight line, which it just fits the camera. This is satisfying, the clicking is. I mean, I, mean, I can understand why someone would play with this one. Because this is actually nice, except you don't want to get your hand stuck in, or well, your fingers stuck in these cracks because there are gaps and yeah, slightly pinches. But I'll just, you know, be careful. I'm like, this might join together. I haven't quite figured that out. I don't know if this is gonna go because even these can't go that way. So if there's one like that, let's see. No, not like that. Uh, okay, let's see if that. Uh, no. Maybe this one just doesn't join to form a circle. And that's okay. Actually, I feel like a smile. Actually, wait a second. I think I've done one, two, three, four, five sides. So I'm like, hey, that's not too bad. Even, wait a No. Does it suit me? Yes? No? Put it in the comments if you think this suits me as a headband. Nevertheless, I actually like that it's pink and white because it's easy to find. Let me click back up again if I can remember how to do that. Okay, wait. Uh, no, not that way. Uh, oh, I shouldn't. Okay, this may not be the same shape. Oh! Okay, it's similar. I mean, plastic, so it's going to be tappable. Mind you, any object is tappable these days, especially with nails like mine. Oh, even scratching. It's nice. Anyway, on to the, let me just check. Last, very last, trigger. And, and the very last trigger is a fidget cube. So it's got different sides and the print of this one is tiger print so it's got different ones so there is there's this top black bit here where I can go and just you know play around with it like it's a lever and then there are buttons. Okay, so only three of them work, but that's fine. Ooh, that sounds nice. Very nice. It even be used. I don't know. Clicking. Alien. 
Okay, I have a thing for aliens in the moment, but yeah. Okay, there's also this switch. So you've got the switch here that just goes back and forth, back and forth. Which is nice. Then on a, on a different side, we have this side, which has this silver bit, which you can click. And then you've got switches here. Which I sound tiny, but they can be used if you were like... They would be a good sound for any roleplay that needs to be, have a nut or a bolt screwed in. It you know, could be useful. So we've covered the big joystick, joystick, the button. The, the gears, the light switch, and there's one more. Wait, this one doesn't actually make sound. So, I mean, if you tap on it, it does. Otherwise, not really. More of a circle that you move around. So overall, this fidget cube actually has quite a few sides that are useful. I think my I think my two favorite sides are these buttons because they give off sound of like a game console or a handheld one which I actually have two game handheld consoles myself but if I didn't have them on me or if I visually had them I could use these buttons as extra sound and I think the, set, the last one that I like is actually the lever because it gives something for my thumb to do and like play with. So I could actually see myself having this in public. I just, and I was surprised by the leopard or like the animal print. If they, you know, if it came in like, if it was like, if I received in like, you know, greens or like purples or blues or even pinks that would suit my aesthetic a little bit better because as you can see I have purple glasses well purple lenses purple frames pink and purple hair and purple nails so you could say I am a very purpley pink girl but Darker shades. Generally not lavender, but you never know. So, which of these was your favorite? Please let me know in the comments. And also, if you have any ideas for these ones, be used for any videos any future ones also put them in the comments so I might be able to look at them and come up with some new ideas from your ideas thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.
Goodbye.